I'm not going to tell you to get up one hour earlier or make your bed or eat healthy or anything like that. Like seriously, I'm going to give you six tips for productivity that you can actually implement. It works for me. Maybe it works for you. I've been working from home for about five or six years and in the beginning I used all these hacks and tried all these ideas on how to be productive but I felt like I was just really being busy, not productive. So now after all these years I feel that I really found out some things that helped me being productive and that's what I want to share with you today. Okay. So here's my tip number one, don't create a to-do list, do block times. Now this changed my life, this one thing alone changed my life. I learned how to do to-do lists uh, later in life actually and I thought it was the am most amazing thing. And it is, it is important to have, you know, a list of things you wanna do. But the thing is, just use that for your daily activities or your monthly activities and to just be checking off, you know, as you do it, when you have some time, it really doesn't help you. I mean, you're gonna be busy, but you're not gonna be productive because you're not doing the things on your list because it's so many things. How can you do anything like that? So what I say is block time. Block time on your calendar. So if you have something like, I don't know, go grocery shopping, block time in your calendar. How long do you take to grocery shop? Two hours, you know, to drive and shop and get checked out and come back and put things away. Just block that time on your calendar, on your phone or in your computer, and then just follow that. Find the time that you're gonna be doing it and then you're gonna do it, right? For me, that's it. If it's not scheduled, it's not gonna get done. It's gonna be sitting there in a paper or on my you know, planner and it's not gonna get done. This gave me so much freedom because I'm not running around trying to do many things at once and um, looking at lists that I always add things, right? So when I have something in my mind that I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to take this to get fixed, I'll put it on my calendar. I will look at my calendar, find a time, and just go there and put in the date and it gets done. So, so simple but no more to-do lists for me. Number two is not to give too much time to do something. On those block times, really use shorter times to do something. And I learned that because this principle, which I never remember the name, but it doesn't matter really. It's a principle that states that whatever time you give yourself to do something, that's the time it will take. So if you say it's going to take a week to do something, it's going to take a week or a month. But here's the thing. If you really think about it, it didn't take a week for you to do that. It took you a couple hours a day or in the month or maybe the last hours of the month for you to complete something. And you're going to complete it, but it's going to take all the time that you gave yourself to do it to get it done. So what I'm working with, yeah, I'm still working on that one because it's not easy, right? As I used to do, my, give myself three hours to write a newsletter. Like seriously, I didn't need three hours to write and to schedule a newsletter. I only need one hour, maybe one hour and a half if I haven't thought about the newsletter subject in advance. So now I'm doing it in shorter times. I have more time to do other things that I want. So really think about that. Do you really need all that time? And with time, yes, you're going to find out how long it takes to do certain things. You're gonna get better at it with time, right? So just think about it, it works. 
The third one is also related to the block times. It is for you to not force yourself onto the block times too much. What I mean is this, take breaks. So if you blocked four hours to complete a project, make sure you take breaks. Mini breaks, medium breaks, big breaks. I'm a master on that because that really, really gives me so much energy. I come back refreshed and I finish things even faster when I take breaks. It can be anything. I use my watch that tells me every hour that I've been sitting for all that time. So I get up, I get a glass of water, a coffee, or sometimes I go for a walk with my dog if I feel like it for five or 10 minutes, you know? And then I come back and whoo, I stretch a little bit and I'm feeling so much better. I'm much more productive because of my breaks. Try it out. If you don't do it, try it out. The fourth one is to not take unplanned calls. Turn off notifications, put your phone on airplane mode or whatever you have to do, okay? I know some of my friends that don't have businesses, they cannot understand why I can't take calls, why I don't answer messages right away. Like, seriously, I work in healthcare and I know what is an emergency, okay? An emergency is when somebody's life depends on you and you have to answer right away. Other than that, if you're not a doctor, a nurse in an emergency room, you don't have to answer a call right away. You don't, you just don't. That completely disturbs you on what you're doing, on your train of thought, on your focus time. So I just put my phone on airplane mode because I not only I don't take calls, but I also have to resist on not going on my phone and just, you know, surf on the web or on social media. So I do that and I have a message. My voice message says something like, I'm sorry, I didn't take your call. I wasn't expecting it, but let's schedule a call because if we schedule it, it's gonna get done. So everybody understands now. I think I train people and they get it. And it's important for me to do that because then I'm productive. This is part of me being productive. I don't take unplanned calls. The fifth tip I have for you now, this is another one. I still work on it, but I'm much better now is to not work after hours. I mean, if you're working from home, have a set time to work after five or six, whatever time it is that you say it's I'm done. Just close your computer. I normally shut down my computer. So I don't have, I resist the urge to go back and finish something that I had and I'm done. My mind needs it. My body needs it. My energy, my soul. I need to do that. Although I love what I do, but it is part of being in a harmonious life. You know, for me, it's important harmony. And that really helps with me getting refreshed, replenishing myself with time with family. Sometimes it's just time to really learn something new or read a book, but it's not, not working after hours. It's so, so important. And my sixth tip for you is to really not to hate what you're doing. Find the joy in it. And here's the thing. I don't love everything about what I do. There are some parts of it that I really don't care about. I could have somebody else do it or, you know, just not do it at all. But here's the thing. Here's how I trick my brain, right? Because if I keep saying, oh, I hate doing that, then my brain is just going to hate it and it's going to be like slow and things are not going to happen. So what I do is this. I, it's a trick that I have that I use that I learned. I don't know where, but I'm going to share it with you. I think of myself and the future looking back at me doing that thing that I really don't like and thanking myself. Thank you, Simone, for having done this thing because this is where I am today on this. And it's because of that little thing that you didn't like that you did. And oh, when I see myself in the future thanking myself for doing this thing, 
boom, it's done. So quick, so quick. It's such a motivational um, uh, way of uh, really doing that to myself, to help myself doing things that I don't like. I mean, life is supposed to be fun. I believe that's why we're here, is to experience all this beauty, all that is being on this meat suit. So I want to enjoy things. And sometimes, you know, later on, I will enjoy what I'm doing here. And that's totally fine. So these are my tips for you for being more productive. I know they are a little bit different. That's how I do things. They, these tips work for me, work for me now. I'm always, always learning. If you have any tips, please leave it on the comments below. I'm always looking for new tips, new ways of being productive. And if you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up so I know that you like these kind of topics and I'll bring you more. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me your questions. I'm here every week and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye now. Okay, so people keep asking me, how can you do so much to run a business? I mean, that's a lot, just running the business and doing the work that my clients hired me to do, building their funnels and optimizing it daily. And then there's always me promoting myself, right? To probably realize that I'm online and every platform consistently every day. I also record videos like this, right? Every week and I edit them myself. And then there's also the admin of the business. There's a lot to be done there, customer service. And I do take care of my house. Yeah, don't, don't get me even started with that one. And then I am a very good friend. I touch base with friends weekly. And I have time for my family, I do. I take care of myself, I exercise, I do all kinds of stuff. I eat healthy, so I have to cook, uh-huh. And then I enjoy life. 